Eerie's croquettes are the best! How strange. They're just balls of mashed potatoes, but there must be a secret ingredient. Oh, yeah? What'd you put in it, Yuri? Love. Uh, who are you? What'd you do with Yuri? My hearing isn't what it used to be. What'd you say the secret ingredient was? Love. The lady who ran the inn where I lived always said cooking was all about love. I put as much love in them as I could, so eat them with care, okay? Yuri's love-filled croquettes. Ugh. I wish they weren't so good. A secret ingredient is a cook's greatest treasure. You didn't want to tell them, did you? Actually, I didn't put anything special in there at all. Estelle, your potato soup sure is good. I'm not used to soup being cold, but this is really delicious. It's not potato soup. It's called vichyssoise. Estelle, what would you call a soup made from onions? That would be onion soup, but... Then this is potato soup. No, it's vichyssoise. It's the name of the dish. Hey, Rita, what would you call this soup? Potato soup. Why won't any of you call it vichyssoise? All right. On today's menu, we have a rice omelet. Wow, this looks great. You drew a face on it in ketchup. This is Repeat's face, isn't it? Mine is Repeat facing to the left. Mine's a golem? Wow, you even got all the details right. You're really talented, Carol. <laughs> so are they good? I spiced it up by adding some... Huh? Why are you eating? Oh, it's so cute. I don't want to ruin it by eating it. I wanted to save him. Come on, eat up! Don't stare! Eat it already! I worked really hard! Oh, Rita! I hear you're finally a stir-fried veggie master! I guess so. Nothing's impossible for me. You sure you didn't just have a good teacher? It always has to be about you, doesn't it? This was all my genius. But stir-fry is a pain to eat. It ties up both my hands so I can't read. Estelle will get mad at you if she catches you reading while you're eating. I got it. Put the vegetables between slices of bread like a sandwich. One hand. Genius. Why do you want to go mess up perfectly good food like that? A stir-fried veggie sandwich. What an original concept. It looks like Judith's ready to add that to her cookbook. Man, Rita's always got to screw things up. You're just jealous. How'd you master making crepes, Raven? I thought you hated sweet foods. My boy, you've got a lot to learn about the miraculous powers sweet foods have over the ladies. An exquisite crepe melts a young girl's heart and leads her straight into the arms of the chef. Me! For people who like sweet things, there's nothing harder to refuse than a delicious crepe. And if you know someone made it just for you... Uh, yeah, I guess crepes could really reel them in. I know someone's reeling, at least. Told you. They love me. Uh, yeah, okay. Good luck, then. Not luck, son. Skill. Rita, you're eating quietly for once. Do you like the food? I wouldn't say I like it, but I don't dislike it. I'm glad it suits your taste, Rita. I've heard that making pork stew is especially time-intensive. Yes, it takes at least two days to boil the pork until it's soft enough to eat. It seems you're pretty good at cooking elaborate dishes, Judy. I used to cook a lot. I don't mind a little work if people will enjoy it. Did you used to cook for your family? Yes. And now I have you all. It makes all of the hard work worthwhile. It's delicious. Huh? Rita, did you say something? No. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. Today's Salisbury steak is tender and delicious. You're finally getting this cooking thing down, Flynn. Hmm. I think it's a bit too bland, actually. Forgive me. I'll go and make a different sauce. It's quite fine as it is. What are you doing with all those spices? A sauce that's too powerful will cover the flavor of the original ingredients. But it's got no punch to it. People have their own preferences, so let them add what they like. Good point. Flint's covered his whole plate in red powder. 
a frail maiden puts her heart into the blade in her hands and rises to the challenge. Let the battle begin! Patty, what are you doing? Whoa! It's just you, Yuri. Don't startle me like that. I'm just cleaning fish, as you can see. It seemed awfully ritualistic. It takes concentration to do it properly. The fish will become part of us, so this trial is a sign of respect. I seem to remember you almost becoming fish food back when we were fighting the mermen. Be careful you don't get swallowed up while you're working. If I do, I'll clean the creature from the inside. Nothing under the sea will best this master of sashimi. That's the spirit. I can't wait to eat, Patty. Leave it all to me. For you, Yuri, I'll carve up two, three, even four fish with everything I've got. Well, I'm not sure I want to eat fish all the time. Hey, there's something seriously messed up about people eating dog food. It's all the same mush once it hits your stomach, right? Dog food and people food are totally different. You're just afraid you'll start liking it. But don't you think the taste is addictive? I love the unusual flavor. An acquired taste for the true gourmand. <gasps> Maybe that's one taste I don't really need to acquire. Yuri, you're really good at cooking. <gasps> but I bet Carol is pretty handy around the kitchen, too. Your tongue is too loose for comfort, Flynn. Handy is dandy, but if it's not done by the cookbook, I ain't having it. You can always do it yourself, you know. You say you don't like the job, but you're pretty skilled at it. The ladies love a man who can cook. No way! If that were true, I'd be the coolest guy around! Seriously, it's true! Even if it doesn't make me cool, I guess I'm happy just to have other people enjoy my cooking. True. It really beats cooking and eating alone. <clears throat> it's nice watching a lady enjoy a good meal. I could care less about guys. Next time I cook for you, Raven, all you're getting is a butter sandwich. Nah, spreading butter is too much work. Just give them the crusts. What happened to being happy about other people enjoying your cooking? Oh, I'm following the recipes. Why isn't my food coming out as good as yours, Judith? I do all of my seasoning by taste. Maybe that's it. Try changing the balance of ingredients or adding some seasoning that's not in the recipe. Good idea. I'll try that. I'm surprised to hear proper cooking advice from you, Rita. Hey, I'm not the best cook, but adding spices is like mixing chemicals. It's just chemistry. I guess in a way, but I also feel like that's not all there is to it. You'll be fine as long as you taste it as you go. Probably. So do you and Yuri use your own special seasonings? Is that why your food is so good? Exactly. If you just rely on the recipe, your cooking will never be really delicious. Cooking is hard, but I'll keep trying. I want to learn how to make better food. That attitude is the secret ingredient to every good dish. I'm so hungry. I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Oh. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too. I can wait, though it's been a little difficult. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? I can't take it anymore. I'm seriously gonna starve. Can I eat a gel? No. <sighs> Does the pooch look a little scary to anyone else? Oh, uh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. <sighs> the pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet. It's a fast. Why do we have to stop eating, too? We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Ah, uh, what a tyrant. I am so hungry! We're seriously gonna starve! Save your energy, Carol. You'll just make yourself hungrier. Sharp stomachs make short graces, Carol. What does that mean? It means hunger can make you rude, and that leads to angry people attacking you with sharp things. I think you're a little off. But whatever, Yuri and Rita seem to be pretty calm despite not having eaten in a while. I'm, I'm used, used to it. it. Uh-huh. Ah! There's a delicious...
delicious steak right on top of Rapide's back. It's a trap. Don't succumb to temptation. Maybe we should do something about this. Yuri! Yuri! I found a green piece of veggie bread in my bag! I can eat it, right? Right? What the? No, Carol, don't! Seriously, this is getting dangerous. Let's eat something already. It looks like what we just cooked used up the last of our ingredients. <laughs> we'll have to stop by a town and pick up some more, I guess. Hey! There was a green piece of veggie bread left in my bag! A green piece of... Ugh! What a strange type of bread. <laughs> Carol, when did you buy that bread? I don't know. I'm not eating. It's all stuff I hate. It's not good for you to be so picky, you know. Yuri's right. You need to eat more so you can grow bigger. It's just what parts of me aren't big enough for you. Carol, you have a lot to learn about ladies. <sighs> well, Flynn told me that you didn't have any understanding of female psychology, Yuri. Nice one, Estelle. <sighs> Stop making food I don't like! Make something else! I won't take this bullion! Okay, no food for you then. All of us have things we don't like, but you don't see us complaining. Live with it. You should be thankful. I stopped reading to come here and eat with you, you know. An unbalanced diet can lead to an unhealthy body. I'm done growing. I can afford a little lack of nutrition at my age. <laughs> Repeat's making fun of you, old man. He says you're a disgrace to humans. You're the oldest one here. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No way. I'm a poor excuse for a grown-up. Sheesh, listen to him. You're terrible. <sighs> You're not eating like you usually do, Flynn. Are you not feeling well? He doesn't like today's dish. We haven't had anything he's liked for a while. Really? But he always cleans his plate, so... You cannot throw away food simply because it doesn't suit your tastes. I thought you and Yuri could eat anything. Who knew? Their preferences were always different, come to think of it. Everyone has different tastes, though. It's more like they're on different levels, if you ask me. But the reason you like something is the same. It's because you liked it as a kid, right? Yeah. I still enjoy the food I loved when I was little. And a rare treat makes you even fonder of it. Let's let Flynn pick tomorrow's menu, then, shall we? I've never seen him look so happy. It makes me want to cook for him myself. <clears throat> <sighs> Again? This food's a staple, but I do wonder why we always have the same thing to eat. We have other recipes we could be making. Carol only stocks up on the same ingredients. Rita said she liked it so much she could eat it every day. Hey, the old man was whining about how he hates every other kind of food. Well, Yuri was going on and on about how we have to save money on food. Judy, didn't you say this would be a good way to compare our cooking? I thought Estelle was trying to perfect this dish. I want something else. Me too. Me three. I'm tired of this. Same. Our other recipes are going to waste. All right, let's eat something different next time, okay? You were all unhappy with the meal. Yuri, you like cooking, don't you? I don't know about like. Why? We've been making you cook for us all the time and you haven't refused once. Quiet, Estelle. We don't want him to stop. It's all right. I noticed. You don't mind? Isn't it a lot of work? I used to cook for myself when I was living in the capital. It's not bad at all. It's not bad, but you don't really like it? Well, it was better than having to eat dangerously awful stuff every single day. He meant well, but he didn't realize how bad he was. This was the only way to stop him. You got my condolences, Yuri. Why are you looking at me? Rita's cooking is nothing compared to this stuff. Trust me. I'd like to meet someone who could make food like that. It's like looking at a scary monster. I'll pass on the food, though. You already met him. Hey, Estelle, you've been doing most of the cooking. You could let the guys cook every now and then. No, it's fine. The more I cook, the better I get. That's true. Cooking is something you get used to. I think your cooking is really improved. Thanks, Judith. I'm happy that I have your seal of approval. Every day I shred two vegetables, julienne one, and chiffonade two more. Guess it was worth it. You didn't have to do all that. Right, Yuri? 
Yeah, it's a waste of veggies. I think you missed the point. No, it's okay. Rapide's been eating all the vegetables for me, besides the onions. Rapide. <laughs> ah, I thought Rapide was getting a little pudgy. Yeah, his attacks in battle have been leaving a bit to be desired, too. Rapide, you gotta learn how to say no to food. Food's ready, everybody! Um, Carol, isn't this the same thing you made yesterday? Not just yesterday, but the day before, and the day before that, too. You must like this a lot to be making it all the time, huh? That's right. I like this so much I could eat it every day. Oh, Raven prefers a more refined, mature taste. Since I'm always cooking, I figured it was my right to make what I like to eat. Well, that's a good point. Hold on. You're seriously okay with eating the same thing every day forever? I'm happy just to have something to eat. Carol's cooking isn't half bad either. Thanks, Yuri. I can't wait to make delicious food tomorrow, too. So, tomorrow will be the same as today, then? It looks that way. Too bad. I'm worried that this will be bad for our nutrition. Don't bother making any of the same stuff for me. I'd rather go hungry. You know, you could all just do some cooking yourselves for once. Hey! What's with making me do all the cooking? Ah, perhaps you've gotten better and you finally came to enjoy cooking. No way! Cooking is a pain and it's a waste of time, too. The point of eating is to restore your energy, right? Just eat some bread or a banana or something. What, you want us to just eat the ingredients raw? I remember Rita serving a sandwich that was just two pieces of bread with a raw egg in between. A raw egg? How original. Hey, don't get any ideas now. Make me cook again, and I'll put it in the food. Put what in the food? Something I've been saving for a special occasion. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Judith, don't encourage her. Don't you dare make me cook next time. Oh, and I wanted to try what Rita was saving for a special occasion. Estelle, I don't think you do. Don't you think you made old Raven cook enough lately? Come on, somebody switch with me. You're kidding. No way. You're a better cook than I am, too. Please keep up the good work. It's all you. I like your cooking. Why won't anybody trade places with me? Maybe there's a good reason for that. And besides, your cooking tastes good. Well, I'm sure you're happy with that, but I don't want to do it. So you shouldn't have to cook just because you don't want to? How selfish can you get? Selfish? You're one to talk. But cooking the food yourself is a good way to avoid forgetting what you last ate, don't you think? True, true. Lately, my memory's been just horrible. Wait a sec. My memory's not that bad. <sighs> just how much of an old fart do you think I am? Judith, we're always making you do the cooking for us. You don't mind? Would you like us to help out every now and then? No, that's okay. Cooking's fun. Of course, we can switch if you don't like my cooking. No, we love your cooking. I could never get tired of it. Indeed. It brings back memories of long ago. It's the sort of cooking I could eat every day. <laughs> that makes me so happy. That's the sort of cooking I've been trying for. It'd be nice if someday you thought to yourself, gee, I sure would like some of Judith's cooking. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having this again. Careful, boys. Just in case you haven't caught on, she's taming you. What? Oh, my. Looks like I've been found out. <laughs> Being tamed, huh? I'm not sure I can resist. Are you on cooking duty again, Flynn? Let me take care of it for you. Thanks, but it's not really a chore for me. I'd like a chance to try my hand at it, too. Or... Is my cooking that bad? No, not at all. But I've already started, so... Stick to it, both of you! This is your sort of job, friend. Fine, fine. Flynn, I'm on cooking duty today. Are you sure? You used to cook for us a lot, Yuri. So let me take care of it this time. It didn't work. Use your noggin. Authority is the only way to go. You're up, m'lady. I don't agree with this. But if everyone wills it... Everything will be ready soon, Lady Estelise. Please wait just a moment longer. Uh, all right. And she's sunk. Guess it's time to get praying. <sighs> Flynn's cooking is either fine or gut-destroyingly bad. That yawning gap scares me. Meals are no time for a gamble like that. 
Hey, Patty, are you cooking again today? I could take care of it if you want. Nah, I like what I'm doing, so don't worry. I wonder if she has some ulterior motive. She's always seemed like the calculating type to me. Patty is a fine young woman. Well, she might be aiming to set her hook in Yuri at the very least. If you want to catch me with food, you'll have to at least give me a personalized menu. She doesn't give him any special treatment. Hmm. If you don't understand, then I'll tell you. The real power in any family lies in the kitchen. The real power? The person in charge of the food has the most sway over the household. Precisely. You all need to eat, so you can't ignore me. It is hard to talk back to the one who has all our food. So show me proper deference. Who the hell decided to pan fry noodles in the middle of a searing hot desert? People should really give more thought to these decisions. Yeah, and it's not just hot. Uh, this strong taste really dries out your throat, too. I feel like the more I eat, the weaker I get. I can't stop sweating. Damn it, I can't stop. Yuri, you're more worked up than usual. Let's just say you owe us one, boss. Owe you one? I see what you're doing. Getting all worked up. You said yourself yesterday that you wanted some noodles. So, did you make them yourself? Did you ask someone else to do it, hmm? Sorry, I guess fried noodles really aren't good for eating in the desert. <laughs> Who the hell thought it'd be a good idea to make sorbet in this freezing weather? It's so cold. My d d teeth are chattering too much to eat. I think sorbet can be delicious, even in the cold. So it was you! I was just expressing my opinion. I never said it was me. J J Judith, y you're all right eating sorbet d d dress like that? If you get an upset stomach, Judy, I'll give you a massage. Th that's hardly something you should be saying with your p p purple lips and your runny nose. Rita, can you cast spells like that? P probably not. My d teeth are chattering too much. And my hands are too stiff to hold my weapons. Eating sorbet in a frigid, cold field of snow. <laughs> this is not fun. Ugh, this is terrible. Did you follow the recipe? There are ingredients in this food that really shouldn't be in it. Actually, I haven't seen our recipe book around recently. Yeah, I wonder where it went. Recipe book? Is this it by any chance? Rita, you had it? No wonder it seems so flimsy and weak. You were using it as a weapon? Someone replaced my book with this thing. It's not my fault nobody noticed the recipes were gone. Well, I can't argue with you there. We don't have very many recipes either. Maybe we should have some more interest in cooking. Yuri, the food you cooked was so delicious. It might even be better than the chefs in the castle. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, you know. Yuri, how about you become a cook in the castle? I'll write you a recommendation. You really know how to compliment a guy, Estelle. You would have to do something with your hair, though. The kitchen staff is very strict. Just how serious are you? Where are you going? The Shikos ruins are east of Ospio. We're headed for Halur, right? But the Red Eyes could still be around. Yeah, maybe we should hold off on going there now. This isn't the right way. I don't think going back's such a good idea. Oh, I didn't mean to go this way. I don't know if we should really go back right now. Hey, this isn't the right way, is it? Uh, we really shouldn't be going this way right now. We're going in the wrong direction. We shouldn't be going this way. Huh? Old Raven kind of lost it for a second and started going the wrong way. Oh, no, no, no. You do not want to go this way. Oh, it looks like I messed up.
Let's turn around and go the other way.